All right, so it's time to make an org chart, but you want to do it in Google Docs. So how can we do this? We've got two ways that we can get this done, and I'm going to go through both of those. The first one is directly in Google Docs, but probably not actually the way you're going to want to do it. And then the second way, it basically includes Google Sheets, and you import that into Google Docs. So let's get going with um, some example or kind of dummy data here. I've got kind of uh, simplified. So if you want to do this all in Google Docs for whatever reason you might want to do that, what we're going to end up doing is just inserting a drawing. So you come in, insert, draw, plus new, and then you go in and you can start doing it. In general, you want to use um, shapes, and we generally stick with rectangles for org charts. Um, so I've got, again, just got some data. I'm just going to put in the CEO. Um, let's do some more. We could, I guess, copy and paste. That'll be a little faster. Let's do, um, we're going to have a CFO. Oops. And then we're going to have, I'm just going to copy and paste a few times so that we can see the same thing for both ways of doing this. Um, and let's do one more. We're going to have a CFO and we're going to have a security person in this made up very small business. And then we've also got analyst and analyst. Okay. Now, how do we connect those to make an actual org chart? You can come up here to select line and use an arrow, and then you can see these nice uh, handy little uh, purple dots, and that's where you're going to connect. So when you just do that, it automatically helps narrow or uh, connect to those areas. So handy, um, but then let's go ahead and connect everything else up here. But if you want things arranged certainly or lined up or any of that, whoops, I'm going to delete that, you've got to do it yourself. Um, so for example, I keep clicking there and creating it. So we need to go back to the pointer or the selector. And so it gives you the nice, you know, tips of, you know, if you're lined up, you get the, um, the red, uh, line telling you what you're aligned with kind of handy. It's okay. Um, so let's go ahead and save and close this. So now we have it actually inserted in here as a drawing. It's in the Google doc. It's, you don't have to use any other tools. So if that's okay for you, then this could be a simple way to do it. Um, something you might, you know, if it's, uh, again, as simple as this, this may be enough for you. Um, but as these start getting more complicated, you probably want to use to something else. Um, so you can double click just to bring this up and bring it up and edit it. So that's handy. It's not just kind of one and done. Um, so I'm just going to save and close that, but let's talk about if we want to do this. Now I did a more complicated one, uh, in Google sheets already in a different video. So you can go check that out, um, and see if that works, but let's hop over and see how we would do this. If we want to basically import, because that's one way we can do it is import from a Google sheet. Um, so if we come in here and we say, we want to insert a chart and that is one of your options from sheet. So that's what we're going to do. Um, so I've already got this, and this to me is the easiest way to set this up. It can be a little confusing. Um, I'll show you what I mean, and that's why I want to keep this one simple. But I go with title, reports to, and name. And so you go ahead and fill this out. So in our previous example, we had a CEO, a CFO, and two analysts, and a security person. And then you need to put in who they report to, because when it builds that organization chart, it needs to know how to connect things up. Um, so basically you just go in and list things out and then say, who does this person report to? Well, the CFO reports to the CEO. So we put that there. The analyst reports to the CFO. The other analyst reports to the CFO. And then security, we said, uh, uh, reports to the CEO. These don't have to be in any particular order. Of course, it makes sense to group them um, just for yourself to keep track of it. But like this, security reporting to the CEO can come after analyst reporting to CFO, Google sheets uh, and the org chart, we'll be able to figure this out. And then if you want a name, um, this doesn't have to be a name. This is basically like a tool tip, which I'll show you in a minute what that means. Uh, but you can do it this way and add that, which I've found to be helpful. Um, if you don't do it this way, you'll have to edit a few things in the chart, which can be confusing. And let's just jump in and I'll show you what I mean by that. So we're going to select, highlight um, all of that, and we are going to insert a chart. And we need to come down here to setup and column chart. And we want to go down until you see this right here, the organizational chart. We're going to click on that. And you can see that things are a little wonky, right? We've got reports to title, and then we've got some other stuff going on here. So we want to make sure that we're using row two as the headers, right? Because that's what they are. They're not part of the org chart. So let's go ahead and kind of make this smaller so we can see what's going on here. And if you have it set up this way, 
now things should make sense. You can see um, CEO, the CFO reports to CEO, the analyst report um, to the CFO. And one thing that again, kind of showing how this can be um, hard to keep track of, we want to give them unique names because now there's analyst one and analyst two. So that was a good thing to show. Now, when you hover over, you can see the names. So that's basically like a tool tip or a name. So you can do it that way. If we had changed it, you know, you could do it name based and do it all that way and have no, um, no tool tip, or you could change it. So it shows names. And then the tool tip is the position, um, depending on how you want to do that. Okay, so let's go back and now show how to put this into Google Docs. So all we're going to do is come into Google Docs and we are going to insert a chart from Sheets and select your uh, sheet that you've created and you have to have a chart created in there. Click Insert and it'll come up and say, okay, you've just got to click on it, choose the one you want in case you have multiple. And do you want to link to the spreadsheet? whether you want it to be linked or not. And that's up to you. I would generally do that so that you can quickly go back and edit, but there may be some reasons you don't want to have that linked. I'm gonna click on import and there we go. You get the usual options. You can resize it, um, do what you need to do with it. And then you can come in here and you can open the source so we can go back and it'll open up the source, which is handy if you have things closed in the future and you wanna come in and edit them um, or, whatever you need to do, you can of course do the Google Docs formatting. So those are your options for creating an organizational chart in Google Docs. Again, this first one with the drawing, a little bit simpler, uh, maybe not as uh, well put together, or it's just kind of ad hoc or on the fly for some very simple ones. Um, and then using Google Sheets to connect it and insert into Google Docs, maybe a little bit more put together and for larger organizational charts, probably the one you would want to go with. Hopefully you found this helpful. Uh, if you're into this type of stuff, productivity tools, automation, all that sort of good stuff, you can subscribe to the channel or check me out at productivity.academy.